Right, in, in this video, we're going to uh, work with Chebyshev's theorem. So can you download uh, the start file uh, and the, actually in this case, it's the worked example file. So I'm gonna open that up. Right, now Chebyshev's theorem we can use when we don't know the shape of this distribution, right? Or the distribution is not normal. So it's not a bell-shaped curve. Um, so we don't know, we don't either we it's not it's not bell-shaped, or we don't know the shape of the distribution. We don't know how the numbers are distributed, right? And I've applied it over here. So if you look here, within two standard deviations of the mean. 75% uh, of all values occur. Within three standard deviations of the mean, 88.9% of values occur. And within four standard deviations of the mean, 93.8% of, of values will occur. Um, right, you may be confused. Um, it is quite confusing when you first look at it, but I'll take a quick example. So let's just say we've got a group of 50 people and the average age uh, of the people in that group is 35. We don't know how it's distributed. We don't know if we've got lots of young kids and on old people, we don't, right? Um, right, over here, so we've got 50 people, um, average age 35, standard deviation of five. So 35 and five, I'll put those in there. Now look at this, we know, um, so we don't know the shape of the distribution. Um, what we know is this, we know that's 75, so, so three quarters of people are between um, uh, the mean plus and minus two standard deviations away from that mean. So this is this, okay, this is how we work it out. 75% um, of people are between 25 and 45. So how did I get to those numbers? Well, the 25, if you look at it, what I've done, take the mean value, 35, and I'm going to subtract two times the standard deviation, All right? So that's the lower value. So, right, so I've gone two standard deviations away from the mean and the upper value, what it is, I take the mean and I add two standard deviations, two times the standard deviation. Right, it means that roughly, you know, 75% of, um, Three quarters of 35 is 38 people. So 38 people are going to be between the ages of 25 and 45, right? Over here, you can see with three standard deviations, if you move three standard deviations away from the mean, you know, and three, so three standard deviations below the mean and three standard deviations above the mean, we know that, you know, roughly 88.9%. So that's quite close to 90%, right? So how do I find those numbers? All right, I could equal to the mean minus three times the standard deviation. Right, that's how I get to the 20. And how do I get to the 50? Well, I take the mean plus three times the standard deviation, All right? So between the age gaps of 20 to, to 50, uh, you know, it's very close to 90%. So we know that 44 or 45 people are gonna be within in that range 20 to 50. Right, so it does give us quite a bit of insight, even if we don't know the shape or we don't know how these ages of people are, are distributed. Anyway, I hope that made some sense to you. Um, if it doesn't, just stick at it. The more you work with this, uh, the more the clearer it becomes. Anyway, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.